the Topeka left the Japan and went back to the States for five months. And when I returned to Japan, I noticed a huge difference. There were neon signs, western clothes, nightclubs. It had completely changed from uh, what was a traditional Japanese city. Rebuilding was going on and I at that point had enough uh, time in to be eligible to get out of the Navy. I elected to do so and transferred to a destroyer, the USS Dias, that was heading for uh, China where they said we could get a ride home on transport cargo ships or transport ships. We went to Hong Kong and I went to the cargo ships that were in the bay and finally found one that was headed back to the United States. So I picked up my gear off the destroyer and got aboard a, uh, a cargo ship that had been converted to bring troops home. The bunks were six high. If a train ever broke, we'd be squished to nothing. But we got back to the United States on the West Coast and went to Los Angeles Union Station to get a train ride back to Boston. When we got at Union Station, there was a line a mile long and we had no chance, I didn't think, of getting a, a train back for at least a week or so in line. So we decided to hitchhike and go part way where we might after people were getting off the train, get find it a way on. On our hitchhiking, we broke up in twos so that we'd have a better chance to ride. We were picked up by an old truck and it was very uncomfortable, but he says, I'll give you a ride uh, to some place three, four states in from Los Angeles. We says, not in this old truck, you won't. He says, no, not in this truck. I have a plane at my ranch and I scheduled to fly there, so I'll bring you guys there. So we actually flew to, I don't remember what state, but in a biplane. It was windy, but we got there. It took a couple of days of flying and then we went to a train station and were able to get a, tr a, a ride back to Boston. We went to Boston and at the Fargo building, I got my discharge in June of 1946. I was now a civilian again. That's my story of the days when I was in the Navy and the war. Uh, thanks for listening, Ian.